Oh, no, no, I, I don't. I, I really don't. You know, it really, it, it came down to, uh, to the, the type of cancer that he had, um, to the, you know, to the, uh, the growth that they were growing. And it really came down to, uh, to the, uh, the a fever that really broke him down. And, uh, that's really what, uh, what he passed from is because his body couldn't, couldn't, uh, really recover from that. Um, so that was really the, uh, the problem. And then, you know, him having the, uh, the surgeries, he had a couple of surgeries um, on his shoulders. Um, the first one went absolutely well, um, you know, and then so he went to get uh, to do the other one, and um, that's really what uh, erupted the cancer and made it grow in, uh, in, in a rapid way. So, you know, I you know, and I really don't even know the full details about it um, because a lot of us friends were really left in the dark. Uh, you know, Dynamite D is a very proud, proud person. And uh, really didn't let us in until uh, you know the last few weeks. Um, and for the out. humanoids, for the for the humanoids that don't know Dynamite D, Dynamite D was the original guy who took '80s gimmicks and then like was redoing '80s gimmicks as his gimmicks every every show. He would have like a different. He had like his uh, Million Dollar Man gimmick, and he would have his uh, Jake the Snake Roberts. He did. He would do all the '80s gimmicks, and then you see all other guys in WWE start doing that after that. But um, one of your gimmicks in XPW, and I love XPW, by the way. This is the greatest thing. Uh, not, not the first, like, mm, three or four DVDs were were probably the most horrible DVDs that ever got put out in the wrestling world. But after that, it, it hit its stride, and it was incredible. But you used to, you won the, was it the, it's the TV, XPW TV title, right? Yeah, the XPW Television Championship title. 18 and months then, champ. And, and you and you wore your belt in the matches like that was the best thing. You you would wear the mat wear the belt as long as you could in the match, which is hilarious to me. I think that was a great innovation. And uh, what what do you think about XPW? You didn't even get asked back to the last XPW show, the the XPW ten, but like all your students got uh, put into the mix. Well, you know it, it, that's that's really where the, where the politics come in. Um, you know, my students had a, had a, uh, a, you know, an opportunity, and I'm not really there to to uh, to hold them back. Um, and uh, I still have to look at it as, as they are supreme and angel students, also. So, you know, that's really where the door opened, and I'm really glad they had the opportunity to do that. And you know, I'm really, you know, I really wish I was part of XPW 10, but um, you know, for the reasons being that you know that I wasn't, it really wasn't an XPW show. So I really stuck to my guns and. Uh, you know, I really had to, you know, just really stand up for what I believe in, you know, practice what I preach. Why would and, you know, it, but, but what was, what's the reason that you're not in it? I mean, uh, uh, there's got to be some reason, and I don't even know if this is on DVD yet or anything like that, but what what possibly could be the reason that Chaos, the rock superstar Chaos, is not part of the XPW? Well, you know what, I told, um, I told the guys running the show, Mike Hartsfield and Kevin Kleinrock, I said, you know, there's a lot of us wrestlers, um, but from back in the day, Supreme Messiah, myself, Angel, um, you know, White Trust, Johnny Webb, uh, Damian Still, a lot of us guys really got shit on back in the day. Um, we were called backyard wrestlers, garbage wrestlers, trash wrestlers, um, and we, re we really weren't. You know, that's just really what the calling was. That's what people wanted to see. People wanted to see the violence, the tables, the chairs, the, the light tubes, you know, the glass, the barbed wire, um, the, the thumbtacks. And um, so we were, we were entertaining the crowd, you know, and to say that we, that we didn't love it, you know, I'd be lying. You know, we did love doing it. It was a job, you know, and we did it well. And um, I told them, you know, some of the guys that you guys got booking on these shows, you know, they are garbage wrestlers. They are backyard wrestlers. You know, they don't, they don't, they don't care about the wrestling business. They don't love the wrestling business. They don't care to train for, about the wrestling business. They don't even care to have wrestling boots. And I said, you know, it's really making a mockery of XPW because we fought so hard to tell these people that, hey, tell all the fans that, you know, that shit on us um, throughout our career that, hey, you know what, we are professional wrestlers. And, um, you know, I told them that. I said, hey, you know, I really don't want to be part of a show that, that's promoting people because I said I worked too hard for the last 15 years in professional wrestling, gave my, uh, you know, kind of gave my life to wrestling. Um, and, uh, you, you know, people that don't earn, earn a spot to be on an XPW show, I believe I helped build that company. And, uh, you know, I think I, I think I have a say in, well, hey, this is what XPW is. And so the guys were just, I think, booking their friends, being very political about it. 
um, and not really staying true to a true XPW show, so that's why I uh, opted to be not part of it. Well, this is, and this this will bring me to the uh, Wrestling Society X. This you were in this, and you were uh, partnered up with uh, hey, uh, Aaron Aguilera, right? Who was Jesus in the WWE? Yeah, and he's Zodiac in uh, All Japan Pro Wrestling. So he's okay, doing, you know. There, and, and this thing, what I mean, what happened with with the idea behind the WSX? It looked like a great idea as far as the roster goes. The roster was fucking awesome. And then the shows, they put them in front of the Rockstar NXS crowd who didn't know anything that was going on. They put them in this shitty-looking, stupid-looking studio, which, I mean, kind of had some cool ideas with Human Tornado, like, coming out on a fire pole and shit like that. They had some cool ideas, but overall it just looked so hokey and made for TV. They, you, they couldn't have watched the pilot and thought, damn, this is going to be good, right? I mean, when you, when you, know, you watch that show, are you thinking, do you think to yourself, like, man, this is going to be, this is really going to take off? Um, you know, I thought, just like you said, I thought, you know, the, the, rap, the, the, the roster was absolutely, the, you know, the best wrestling roster, you know, comprised, put together. Um, I thought yeah. a, lot of, a lot of the wrestling, you know, was really awesome. Um, a lot of the storylines, you know, were, were good. Um, I think, you know, where they really went wrong was a lot of the, uh, the magic tricks that they did a lot with the fireballs and the electricity and, and a lot of the, uh, the stuff that kind of, kind, kind of what, what a lot of people complain about Lucha Libre about, about making it, making wrestling so fake that it's unreal. And I think that's where WXX with, um, but really the, the big problem behind the, the show itself is that, uh, it got the green light. Um, some of the executives that gave the green light to uh, WSX got fired, and a, a new uh, regiment came in and uh, just really, just, just really uh, didn't even give a lot of shows second thought and just cut a lot of shows. So, and even from the beginning, um, MTV was never behind the show. Um, really, never promoted it at all. Besides a, a real quick 15-second uh, clip of the wrestling show. So, it was a, a fighting a, uh, an uphill battle that uh, we were never going to win. So uh, no, I think a lot no. of us were just surprised that it, that it actually even made it to air and uh, just lucky that it, that it did to get, just get some exposure, you know, and get a really good payday. So, you know, and I really thank Kevin Kleinrock and crew for doing that. So they really put a lot of hard work into it. Um, but it just never got a chance to really stretch its legs, you know. But here, here's, my, here's my thing with that is that you all, Kevin Kleinrock pretty much already has all the rights to XPW. Why not just make an XPW show for MTV? If you're going to bring on a guy, a guys like Black Label Society and all these dark bands, all these uh, underground rap type bands and stuff like that, all this dark shit, why not already put it in front of a crowd that already is already is cool and awesome and into that stuff? Because if you watch if you watch XPW shows, that crowd makes wrestling seem hip. The the show the show they put on or the crowd they put this show on in front of made it seem dorky. It made it look it made it seem like it should be on on uh, CBS at seven o'clock in the afternoon or in the mo you know at night on prime time. It, it just says, it, did you ever watch that in excess rock star show and see that this crowd that just looked so dorky that it was almost impossible not to watch the show to look at the crowd and see how stupid they looked. That's kind of what it looked like to me. It looked like they just went down to Hot Topic and said, "Hey, all you dipshits, come to the come to the show. I know you don't know what you're going to be watching, but just watch the show anyway. You'll be." But if you put it in front of that, but yeah, but the XPW crowd is kick ass. They completely rule. Say, hey, MTV, put this on after ten o'clock because this crowd's going to cuss. But that makes it look cool as shit because the, the whole crowd looks like the crowd you want to watch the show. I, you know yeah, what I mean? You know, I mean why I, why I make really, up some bullshit when you already have a built-in fucking audience that looks cooler than the audience you get from Hot Topic or The Gap? No, you're absolutely correct. You know, I think X, XPW does have a following, and, you know, uh, Kevin Kleinrock and crew really probably didn't really find it out until after the, the WSX, um, until they created some of the... Uh, XPW DVD, the TV DVDs, and uh, recognized how uh, how well they they sold. Um, but even after they did.